So for today, we're going to be looking at the Enduring Conquer armor set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, this is the Guardian Games armor set specifically for this year. So if you guys uh, have not seen the Hunter set, I have I've already made that video. It's right here. And I've also already reviewed all of the armor sets right here. We look at how it looks, how it shaded and my personal thoughts on it. And for the Hunter video, it's basically what we're doing here, where I took individual pieces from the all, all the armor and made sets with them. So would really appreciate you guys checking out those videos just because uh, they take a lot of work. So other than that, let's uh, look at some of this armor sets. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet enduring conqueror helmet. And I think this helmet is a banger of a helmet. I love it, especially if you want to go for a casual look because your Titan is literally wearing headphones. That's casual as fuck for me. So just be aware that it is kind of annoying because the helmet has the class colors at the top, right? Um, at the top of the helmet. So if you didn't notice that, I'm sorry that I know I made you aware of it, but yeah, I think it's just annoying, uh, personally. I mean, you could still keep the stripes. Just let me color them, please. For the arms, Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets uh, was an easy choice when I compare it with Lux Parka. To be fair, Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets is usually the one I go for just because it's a really good uh, arm. For the boots, Ringwalker Greaves, uh, also another easy choice just because this is probably the most casual boots in the game that actually look really, really good because the Lux, uh, the Lux boots I don't think are good and the intrepid exploit boots are definitely not good there's and yeah this just goes into it like it's just a lot of the casual sets that we have for the titans the boots i just don't think are good so for me the ring walker greaves is just the best ones and then memory of Cade because i want a simple cloak nothing too crazy and for the shaders it's literally arable's glance for almost everything aside from the chest piece abyssinian gold is the shader for it just because Aerobo's glance turns the chest piece orange and I didn't want orange. I wanted just a pure black uh, color for this because uh, uh, I didn't want to think too much on the shaders, quite honestly. Uh, I just wanted something that I know I would wear immediately and just be like, this is a banger. I don't have to think about it because most likely for this set, I would probably either be switching out the arms or the boots, specifically the boots for something a little bit more casual. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I think the first one is a banger of a look and I am definitely happy with it. As for the next piece, we're going to be looking at the Enduring Conqueror Gauntlets. This one was surprising because I'm using Photo Finish, a shader I rarely use. I don't even use it. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not, not the biggest fan of the shader. If cl the cloth and actually it's just the cloth. If the cloth uh, color was a little bit different or just better, I actually would rock this color a lot more, but it's just I don't like, I'm not the biggest fan of the shadering of plate armor and cloth armor specifically. So that's why I don't use it a lot, but I wanted to use it to showcase just how much glow there is in this set. So helmet Kogan beat helm is a good choice for this because of that line in the middle. The enduring conquer actually does have glows. It's on the bicep, uh, it's small granted, but I, it, there's still, it's still noticeable for me. Survival of the Strong Plate is what we're using just because I like the pairing of the Enduring Conqueror gauntlets with the Survival of the Strong Plate. I think they look really good together. And then for the boots, a lighted steps ornament for the Path of the Burning Steps was an easy choice just because I'm going for a glow look and a lighted uh, steps is just such a good uh, ornament for it. And then last but not least, Heart and Basilisk Mark. Uh, just because I didn't want anything too crazy and also because usually with uh, Path of the Burning, Burning Steps, I like to combine uh, those boots with a mark that is always hiding the left side because the if you guys haven't seen it uh, or noticed it, the light on the top uh, thigh, there it's only on the right side, it's not on the left side. So I kind of want to just have something to cover that up so people don't immediately notice that. So. I really like this set. I would probably just switch out the shader for something else because to be quite honest, the shader is only here just to show you guys the fact that it's just, it's glowed the fuck up. So that's really why I'm using it. But yeah, like I said, I would probably just switch this out for another shader that has a really cool glow. But overall, let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using Survival of the Strong Helmet with the Enduring Conqueror plate. I think these two pair really well together. I mean, it's Kind of makes sense they're both from guardian games different years for the arms we're going to be using syntheseps with augmented auspice just because it looks super cool with this whole set if i were to have one complaint about this i feel like the boots are maybe a little too thick maybe just a little bit um but i still think it looks cool as fuck. uh 
I do think it looks a little thick on the thicker side compared to the arms at the chest piece, but I'm going to be real with you guys. I cannot find anything better. To be fair, I immediately saw this and I was like, this looks cool. And I just immediately just started recording. But I think Hardened Basilisk leg plates still looks really cool with it. And then Moonfang X7 Mark, uh, another easy choice when I go for something like this, something small, just because the Moonfang doesn't have like a big look on the actual titan itself because it's literally just the belt and the mark that's covering like just the backside. that's really it so i didn't want anything too crazy for the mark because again i think everything goes really well together and i wanted the mark to have the least amount of space in here if that makes any sense so i really really like this set uh the other annoying thing is the reason i'm using the omnicronia shader aside from it being a dope shader is that the enduring conqueror plate takes uh, off colors and if you guys don't know, Omnicoronia does not care about that. If it's plate armor, it'll just take one plate armor. It's the same thing with uh, the Dreaming Spectrum shader, I think. It, no, not Dreaming Spectrum. Is it Dreaming Spectrum? It's the one from Last Wish, the like bone color one. That one will immediately just say, if it's plate armor, I don't care what it is. It's going to be the, the bone color. So it's kind of the same thing like that. So annoying, but I think it looks cool as fuck. Let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we have the boots, which we're also going to be pairing with not only the Hardened Basilisk chest piece, but the Survival of the Strong gauntlets, which is funny considering I'm also going to be reviewing the Survival of the Strong uh, individual sets. And I'm still kind of wondering if I'm just going to reuse some of these, all, all three of the sets that used Survival of the Strong. Let me know if you guys want me to use new ones, but I'm kind of thinking just to reuse these just because they look really cool and i don't know we'll see we'll see if if, I, if it bugs me enough i'll do i'll just do new new sets but for this one we're going to be using the insurmountable skull fort with the mind vault ornament because uh i wanted some i wanted something a little bit different for this one and i knew i was going to go lean into the glow a little bit and the cool thing with the mind vault is the fact that the like the seraph signia i think that's the seraph signia whatever the the mark in the face uh, actually switches to the Siva uh, symbol, which is all red. So I think that's really, really cool. And I, that's why I'm using the lawful neutral because it has a really cool red shader, which is really, or red glow, I should say. Or the arms, obviously survival of the strong is what we're using, which is really, really cool. I really like these arms. Or the chest piece hardened basilisk is what I'm using. This one, I think I fucked up a little. I could have used a better chest piece, not because of the geometry, just because I don't like the fact that it doesn't the chest piece and the boots don't look like one cohesive set it, it literally looks like i'm wearing a shirt and pants not like a whole like onesie suit that is supposed to be like catered towards my body like something like that hopefully that makes sense it's just for me I, I like it when my pants and my chest piece look like it's all one piece because it gives me more of that like futuristic like my suit is made for my body type thing so I don't know, it's kind of a dumb thing to critique, but that's just how I see it in my head. And then contender mark for the mark. I think it's super cool. I wanted a little bit more glow because for the boots, the only glow in it is actually like at the pelvis, which on both sides. So that's why I wanted a little bit more glow on this. So this one's pretty cool. I actually really, really like this set. Uh, I prob I want to say I want I would use this for a SIVA look with just maybe switch out some pieces with like specifically specifically swapping out syntheseps for for the siva inspired set and then go to eververse and get the the siva boots that are for that ornament i don't know we'll see i i think this looks cool i definitely would have i, I feel like if i added a little bit more like war mind inspired pieces i think i would like it a little bit more maybe switch out the chest piece for maybe season of the seraph chest piece or a war mine chest piece either way there's a lot to work with for this one if you want to go for a, a either a siva inspired look or if you want to go for a like a war mine inspired look because i think mine vault is such a good one for that so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think titans let me know what you guys think again rem remember let me know if you guys want me to make some new sets for the survival of the strong pieces because i did use three pieces from this video I was thinking about just combining the last survival of the strong piece in this video, but kind of want to give you guys two videos. And at that point, I can think I answered my own question. I think I'll make some new sets. And if not, I'll have both of them. Oh, we'll see. I don't know what we'll do, but 
Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.